We're here today to talk about some of the enhancements that you've made to the environmental binding facility. I know we've been working hard making that uh, one-stop destination to service um, a lot of environmental needs. So give us a quick update. We have a new carrier partner, and with that new carrier partner brings us new capabilities and efficiencies, thanks to technology-driven initiatives. It's environmental package, standard environmental package. Um, in addition to that, we're also able to offer monoline CPL and CPL professional, unsupported access, access over energy. It really broadens our capabilities in the environmental package marketplace. Beautiful. Now, I know we also have some other products. Um, for example, we have site pollution for cannabis mm -hmm. risks, as well as underground storage tank coverage. Uh, I know we just recently executed um, an agreement to um, offer underground storage tanks. Talk a little bit about those products. Yeah, it, it's expanding rapidly. So our capabilities now include cannabis site pollution liability, which is a more difficult line of coverage to find out there. So we got an exclusive on that. It is growing. It's a great program. We also are going to start up a tank program and it's in its infancy. So we're working out the details, but it's going to be exciting to be able to offer that to our partners. So regarding site pollution, um, what part of the value chain are you looking at? Are you looking at uh, growing facilities, retail? Where, where are you looking to focus on with that product? So it's, it's the gambit. It's from growing, processing, uh, warehousing, laboratory, and retail. Outstanding. So it's the full value chain of cannabis from, from growth to consumption. Correct. Okay, beautiful. And then with the underground storage tanks, um, you know, is this going to be offered on a surplus lines form or an admitted form? So both. It is rapidly changing to be admitted on all 50 states. And then the few states, if there's something particular that doesn't quite fit the admitted, we have the capability to do surplus lines. So you got flexibility. We have flexibility. And then um, as far as the age of tanks, what is your max age for the tanks? So in that regard, it's, it's pretty standard, 30 years or less. Um, we do have a little bit of flexibility where we can accommodate some older tanks mm -hmm. as long as it makes up less than 30% of the tank schedule. And there's a lot of caveats in there, but it gives us a little bit of ability to look at a few older tanks. Instead of a quick decline, we can, we can try and work with the retailer and see if we can make it work. I know how much work you've put into that. And I recently got a tank quote and it was incredibly competitive and broad. So it tied the coverage to the, the appropriate code and offered that financial coverage as well. And the pricing was, was quite aggressive, offered on an, an admitted form. So I was really excited to be the inaugural test of our underground storage tank platform. And, uh, and it hit the mark. 